Hello students, in this video we will write expression for this half sine wave and this is periodic waveform which is having one component as half sine wave. We will find the Laplace transform of it. So this waveform can be written if we add two sine waveforms. One of the sine waveform is suppose this is our first sine waveform and let's say it is f a t okay it is starting at 0 its amplitude is a and time period is t and it is repeating itself for the infinite number of times take another sine wave which is starting at t by 2 time period and is repeating itself again this is t by 2 and let's say it is f b t if we will add these two waveforms then see what happens this upper lower half of this first one is cancelled by the upper half of this second one this upper half is cancelled by this one because they are of the same amplitude and same time duration so this also will be cancelled by its next lower half so we can uh, while we add these two waveforms which are f a t that is a sine omega t and f v t which is a sine omega t minus t by 2 because it is starting at t by 2 time instant it is having a time shift of this if we we'll add these two waveforms we will get only this half sine wave component which is also present in our question so we can get this by adding these two functions okay so our waveform f1t is nothing but summation of F A T and F B T. So F one T is summation of F A T plus F B T. Okay. Write down their equation so we can get the equation of this F one T plus A sine omega T minus T by Okay, we can take the Laplace transform of this also that is F1S which is A sin omega t is omega divided by S square plus omega square plus A sin omega t minus t by 2 again omega divided by uh, s square plus omega square and because of this time shift there will come a term e to the power minus t s okay. so this is laplace transform of this function so we got the expression f1 t by the summation of two sine waveforms with time shift of t by 2 and 0 okay so this is our laplace tr transform of this half sine wave now uh, we can find the laplace transform of this periodic function also this periodic function we can say that this is this from 0 to t time period it is f1 t from t to 2t it is f2t and so on there can there are infinite number of such components present in our ft so we can write fts summation of f1t plus f2t plus f3t and so on okay these uh, waveforms or components are same as this this one only the time shift is there okay so f1t write down is it as it is then f2t is time shifted f1t okay. and ft3 is again time shifted 
F1, T and so on. There will be a num infinite number of terms. Now take the Laplace transform of this. This is F1S plus F1S e to the power minus Ts plus F1S e to the power minus 2Ts and other terms. This is infinite number of terms from where we can take F1S as a common then we can get this type of series. This is nothing but GP of having infinite number of terms. Okay, infinite GP uh, we are having with this F1 as. So we know the summation of infinite number of terms in GP is given by A divided by 1 minus R, where A is first term which is 1 here and r is the geometric ratio that is e to the power minus ts while we write this value we can get the sum that is 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus ts multiplied by this f1s f1s is this waveform from time period 0 to t and we already derived the expression F1T and F1S here. So this is our F1S. We can write it here. The value of F1S multiply this with 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus Ts where T is the time period after which the pulse is repeating itself or the uh, this uh, um, component is repeating itself 